Happy New Year, Mabuno. This is your pastor, Pastor M. Just are so grateful to have this opportunity in 2024 to address you, the Mavuno family. I trust that you have jumped into the new year with joy and that God is doing great things in your life. You have expectation about the things that God has for us. Uh, this is a, a great year for us. We're trusting God for unshakable faith. That's what our theme is in 2024. And our theme verse, 1 Corinthians 15, 58, always give yourself fully to the work of the Lord because you know your labor in the Lord is not in vain. And hey, there are three things we do at the beginning of every year. And I think I mentioned that last week. I want to just remind you what they are. The first is daily Bible reading. If you've, I pray that you've already downloaded the, the new, the U version app. We're already a week into our reading. So if you haven't yet, you're running late. Uh, you can still do so today. So download that app. We're reading through the New Testament together. What a joy for us to grow in God's word. Number two is our prayer and fasting. And we are actually beginning this coming week. I'll talk a bit more about that just in a second. And then number three is our first fruits. We encourage every single person in Mavuno Church to consider giving their first fruits, which is their income through the month of this of January. Uh, it's a radical sacrificial act uh, of generosity that says to the Lord, Lord, I'm trusting you to provide for me this year. And many of us have great testimonies of having seen God come through for us in amazing ways as we've done that over the last few years at Mavuno Church. So I want to prepare you for all those three things. And today I want to talk about this second one because we start tomorrow. Our prayer and fasting actually starts tomorrow. So here's what happens uh, in a 21 day, uh, 21 day fast. We encourage you to abstain from food. I, I know it's going to be a radical year. And remember, it's about unshakable faith. And so we're going to go a whole month without food at 21 days. It's not going to kill you. Trust me. Uh, many of us have done this over the years and many of you have done it. Some of you the first time last year and you're still here. You're still alive. You're even healthier at the end of it. And so we are going to be abstaining from food. It's going to be a liquid fast. We're going to be abstaining from social media. We want to challenge you to, to, to get off your social media for a month. You can put a placeholder there that says I'm away for a month. Uh, and we're asking you to also consider uh, abstaining from television and entertainment this month. I mean, the, the, the clutter that fills our lives. Uh, 21 day, the next 21 days are a time of decluttering, of removing stuff from our lives so that we can focus on God in prayer. And so we want to encourage you and uh, invite all of you into this season. It's going to be an amazing season. I believe that God is going to really show up for every single one of us as we spend the next 21 days together. And starting tomorrow, uh, we have what we call our, our online prayers. Uh, you can see the link that's on the screen there. We're going to have online prayers for the whole movement together for a week. Uh, before we go into what we call our network online prayers. And so we start tomorrow, 5 to 6 a.m. Uh, East Africa time. Wherever you are in, you're watching in the world, just do the translation. We would love for you to join us live. And we're going to be praying together. Uh, this, this year, we're actually going to do some radical uh, extra prayers. And we're going to talk about that tomorrow as well. We're trusting God that we can actually do this. Uh, not one hour. For this first week, I want to actually encourage us to pray three hours a day. And, and uh, like, like somebody said, we're not playing this year. Like we're serious about our prayer. And so I want to encourage you uh, to come in tomorrow morning ready for this. It's a time of consecration. And this is what prayer and fasting does for us. It sets us apart. And we'll be talking about this. It sets us apart. It consecrates us for God to be able to move in and do great things. And we are trusting God that by the end of these 21 days, that we will experience signs and wonders and miracles and see answers to prayer beyond anything that we can either we can even think of or even imagine. So it's a it's a faith journey. None of us is doing this alone. We're all doing it together. If you're in a discipleship group, it's going to be a great place for us to keep encouraging one another as we walk this journey together. And I look forward to seeing what God does through us all as a church as we do this 21 days of prayer and fasting together. So Happy New Year. I can't wait to see you on the other side.